Hey Geminis, welcome. If you're one of my usual loyal subscribers, you'll know this is not my usual setup, but we should be back to normal very soon. So please bear with me. Um, if you are new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And I'll leave all the information you need to contact me for personal readings, what cards I use in the description box. Okay, guys, so rest, <laughs> rest and rejuvenation. Okay, rejuvenation and wisdom popped out there. So the four of swords, healing from something, needing that time out, maybe needing some sleep. Okay, if you need that extra sleep, get it. It's important here. Go meditate and find some peace in the woods. You need some um, time on your own. Tell the kids, look, go in there. I'm having a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. <laughs> um, wisdom. Okay, although you've gained a lot of wisdom from this situation, I feel like it's taken a lot out of you. The Hierophant, so a very divine lesson here. The really packed a punch, shall we say, um, I mean, I've had fabulous readings for Gemini um, the last couple of months, but here it's like things have taken its toll a little bit. So remember to rest, okay, to get that rejuvenation. Uh, like I said, it's not my usual setup, so please forgive me when I'm looking down to read the cards. I'll be back to normal as soon as possible. Thank you. Chemistry. Okay, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. Um, I feel like a soulmate is being pulled in with the Hierophant, um, but you need that rest first, okay? So if you feel like, I want somebody in my life, or I feel the connection of somebody, it's, it's true, you do feel it, okay? You are connected to them because there's a strong connection here, but you need that rest and rejuvenation. Wisdom, right? Um, use what you've learned, okay? Pay attention to the red flags here. The signs are cautioning you. Get some sleep. The rest is just as important as the hard work, okay? Just remember that. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So let me tell you something. When your type changes, you've learned your lesson. When you're no longer attracted to the same sort of energy, that cycle is closed down. You've learned your lesson here. Okay. Let me see what time it is. fulfillment and wishes of wishes sorry so yeah um this is like related to the hermit so it's about learning and feeling fulfillment within ourselves, which i feel like you will do now you just have to remember um i just seen something there i don't know if you guys seen it too um you just need to remember that not to fall off balance here Okay, I feel like it could end up being an emotional time for you. Um, remember everything you've been through to bring this change. Um, when we don't look for fulfillment outside of us, then nobody can take our happiness away from us, right? So you have that inner fulfillment here. So when somebody who's not your type approaches you, keep an open mind because that toxic cycle has ended, okay? Let's see. Oh, why did I pick up this deck again? Must have um, meant to be because passion ignites Ace of Cups, right? I'd already got the rest and rejuvenation, the wisdom from this deck, and then I picked it up again by mistake. So you needed to know this, you know, love begins. And I picked up the romance deck again. <laughs> so passion ignites there, okay? Um, if you give them a chance seems like somebody um, is coming towards you and it is your wish to meet this kind of love um, so sometimes when we're asking or uh, praying uh, for something for a love of a lifetime maybe when it doesn't show up in the person we expect we feel our wish isn't being fulfilled um, but you are going to have your wish fulfilled here and I do believe um, 
it may be somebody different to what you're expecting. Queen of Cups here, a relationship between a mother could be fulfilled, uh, repaired here as well. Um, that's just for some. Um, but here, this is a love offer coming in, maybe with a water sign. I feel like they're very loving and giving and that's what you'll need. Um, five of Swords. Um, again, this may have been like, it felt like a lose-lose situation with your mum or something, arguing with a mum or a sister or an auntie. Um, and yeah, I would uh, either say, you know, I want to heal this situation, I want to work on us, or I want to leave the situation. Um, love you from afar. And that's okay. It's okay to love people from afar if they're not good for your well-being. But bear in mind, they may have changed, okay? So don't go in all guns blazing. They may have changed. Give them a chance here. Somebody could be asking. Could be um, a child as well if you're a mum or a dad watching as well. Knight of Pentacles, you've waited a long time to repair this connection or for a romantic partner to come into your life. But the Knight of Pentacles... This is somebody reliable, somebody trustworthy. So when they actually get there, um, they're laying a pentacle. They're laying a foundation with you. They're building with you. They want um, not only passion, they want a life with you, a house with you and things like that. So he's definitely, he or she, it's the she in this deck, the Knight of Pentacles is definitely worth waiting for. Two of Pentacles. So... Um, if it is somebody from your past, you could have been going backwards and forwards with this person a few times. Or even if it is like um, a family relationship, you've been going backwards and forwards with and nothing ever seemed to go the right way. Like I said, when we heal a cycle, our attraction changes. So if somebody comes back and they've taken too long and you're not interested, just politely say, I'm not interested. You don't need to stand and argue with them. I feel like, you know, you don't have the time of day for them because you're now in this energy of loving yourself. You've gained a lot of wisdom from this situation. Be thankful. Never um, regret or hate a situation that improved you, made you better. High Priestess, you've just learned to trust your instincts here. I feel like if this person even wanted to keep secrets from you, like I said, even it could be a mother, um, they can't do it anymore. They have, they don't have this power over you anymore. Page of Cups, so they ask for an apology. They're sorry. Page of Pentacles. Baby steps in communication. Something still left to learn in the sense that we can love people from afar. It doesn't mean we have to hate them. It doesn't mean we have to argue with them. Um, it doesn't mean we have to send them hate or anything like that. Um, it doesn't mean we have to stop talking to them. We can communicate um, short and sweet with the Page of Pentacles. You don't need to block with the Page of Pentacles, which usually happens. People usually block each other and then nothing really is learned from the situation, you'll end up revisiting it every time. So every time something new pops up, you'll revisit the same argument because nothing was ever dealt with, it was just blocked out. Baby steps, small things, okay? Um, maybe you waited long enough and you just want to block them for good. Well, make sure, yeah, it's for good. Four of Wands, you want a fresh start, new beginning. And you have this coming with... Um, a romantic partner here, somebody who wants to build a life with you, plant some seeds, maybe do gardening because I'm seeing people planting seeds. So maybe you're gardening with this person. When you meet them, you'll know it's them. You may feel like this isn't my usual type. But like I said, when our type changes, it's because that lesson has changed. Um, so don't worry about it. Just enjoy it. This person wants to build do gardening, <laughs> I don't know, they want to garden with you, so, and this is like build a home, decorate and make everything beautiful and pretty, um, it's a wonderful thing, 
right? It's another four, very stable energy coming towards you, which will give you stability in your all-round relationships as well. Good luck, guys.